What's going on, his squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Saturday, May 22nd, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general. Make sure you guys subscribe and smash that uh, notification bell so you can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. Uh, if you want, if you want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter at hitman miyagi yt how to spell that will be in the hashtag below the video and in the description box below on uh any social media that i have for the channel it'll be mostly information regarding the channel and like uh madame nazar's location currently because I can't, I don't have like a community. I, I don't have, I'm not monetized or whatever. So I don't have like a thousand subscribers and a thousand hours watched. So I can't have a community tab. They don't allow that anymore, I guess. Um, first things first, let's get to Madame Nazar's location, which Madame Nazar is up here. Near Brandywine Drop, Roanoke Ridge, Ansburg area. How I personally get to her when she's in this area is either I'll run from my moonshine shack, which is right near near this red circle, right here. I'll run from here just up there, or I'll fast travel to Ansburg and take the little trip up like that, or go all the way around and come down like that. Whichever is easy to you. I don't feel like she's hard to get to. You just got to go get through these little turns right here. And my thing about getting through these turns are the pedestrians. You, you're trying to go fast on your horse. You got to pay attention to around these corners because you can't see it around these corners all the time. And next thing you know, you'll be running into a pedestrian slow poking on his horse. <laughs> that's my only thing about this location but she's here she will be here until 2 a.m that's eastern standard time new york time zone east coast time zone for those of you who don't know or not of america um that was that's just my simple way of getting to her just running up fast travel to the uh it should put you outside this post office right here just run up from there Simple. You don't have to move no camps or nothing. I don't even know if they have like too many camps up here. You might can get one like up here somewhere. But just run up. She's right near a fast travel kind of. So, I mean, just got to get around the little humps right there. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the next thing, which is the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. And that's all the way in Armadillo today. Right between the R&I and I in Chola Springs or Springs of Chola Springs, right here between the R and R Springs. There's a tent right here, and it's right outside on the ground, like in the dirt, like right outside the tent. The Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle. Let's get over here to where we normally do business. Get all the way out the desert. If you that is a bottle that you're looking for, I mean, uh, you know, something that you're looking for, go grab that. There's also a card over there inside that that house. There's a house over here. There's a tarot card I know inside this little house right here. And there's also a tarot card over here in Armadillo. But that's up to you and if you want to go get it and stuff. Uh put you guys right in frame the cycles for today saturday may 22nd are family heirloom cycle one all Zuri cycle two 
Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Terror Guard Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 2. Remember to check the description box below just in case I verbally mess up or anything like that. Everything will be down there written out for you guys. So get screenshotted and then go look at the videos individually or, you know, however you want to do it. Um, let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map, which I want to start with a couple that, or one that I didn't mark, which is up here. I think it's right here. Right about here. No, it might be, yeah, right here. Right about here. There's a little hump right there, so... You guys can see that and right there make sure you pay attention to the lines of the map because that will help you guys out right here at this location you guys will get a grand corazon madera madera madaria i did not know how to pronounce that last m word so i try to not to say it the grand corazon antique alcohol bottle will be right here at this location at the back of a broken down wagon uh, let's go to our first marker, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is on the boat right here, right here between the W of water or blue water. Right here is a boat. And go on that boat and through the door. When you go through the door, look to your left and you should see a wash table or wash area with like uh i guess you call it a basin a face basin or whatever there's a little bowl right there <laughs> and right there beside that bowl you guys will find a ivory comb which is a family heirloom let's go matter of fact let's go over here and then work our way this way right over here to the right it this island right here at our next marker you guys will find a random fossil this fossil is randomized i cannot tell you guys what it is but come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random fossil let's go this way there is a tear card inside this building this l-shaped building right here this tarot card is a nine of pentacles. It's right in like the little storage area of this building. Or the shelf or like a shelf of that little storeroom right there. Uh the, this next marker right here is a Durant Pearl bracelet. This Durant Pearl bracelet is in the chimney inside this house. That's why I put it kind of like in the middle. So you guys can see exactly where it is inside the house. Position yourself in front of the chimney. You should get a prompt to search the chimney. And that's what you will pull out. A Durant, Durant Pearl bracelet. Excuse me. Uh, when that Durant Pearl bracelet is inside the chimney. There's also a tree right about here in this area. Come over here with your metal detector. And you will get another random lost jewelry. Let's uh, go up actually. To this next marker which you guys will get a random coin right here make sure you pay attention to the lines and the map it'll help you get exact kind of exactly where you know the the marker is um but that is a random coin i cannot tell you guys exactly where it is or what coin you will get but come over here with, in this area with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random coin there's while you're over here grabbing this coin there's also a antique alcohol bottle inside this building and the antique alcohol bottle is the old time gin this old time gin is inside the counter inside on the counter of this uh old like convenience store or whatever you want to call it maybe a bar or but it looks like a convenience store on the inside that you know, was abandoned. Uh, one more thing, there's a, along the shoreline under the bridge right here at this location, 
you guys will get another random fossil. Uh, let's go over right here to this next marker. Right here at this location, you guys will get a horse hairbrush, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is sitting right here on the back porch or deck on a table. So just go and grab that. Once again, that is a horse hairbrush, which is a family heirloom. Let's go to our next location, which is inside the cemetery. Right here inside this little mausoleum or whatever you want to call it. There's a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a absinthe bottle. A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E. It's right here at this location. Go through the gate and go towards the back shelf. And you should be able to should get get a prompt to grab it off it, off of the shelf. Um, let's go down to our next two markers, which are this first marker here is a tarot card. This tarot card is a eight of swords. It's on a white table with a chessboard, and on that chessboard, you guys will get the eight of swords tarot card. And right across the way, which you can cut right through here, this little open area. And then jump over the gate right here. And there's another table the same way. A white table with a chessboard on it. And on that chessboard, you guys will get a ivory hairpin. This ivory hairpin is right here at this location. So go get it. You just have to grab it. That's it. Uh, let's go down to our next marker. Which is a little bit across the way. Uh, right here at this location... You will get a bird egg. It's in the tree, so shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. This bird egg is a spoonbill egg, S-P-O-N-B-I-L-L. -L. You shouldn't have any problem with this one, so you should be able to grab it and shoot it down and all kinds of stuff like that. On to our next marker, which is the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day. That helps me personally. Uh, indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on for today. Uh, make sure you pay attention to your surroundings because there are alligators and uh, turtles and snakes and all kinds of stuff. There is a, a legendary alligator that spawns over here as well. The Tekka. Is it the Tekka? Or the other one. Yeah, it's a tech, I think. Anywho, there is another antique alcohol bottle inside this building, by the way. Right there at that location of my waypoint. Which, this one is at the edge of an overturned barrel. Right here at this location. is a cognac antique alcohol bottle. C-O-G-N-A-C. So go get that. Let's make our way on up to roads. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Then before we get to our first marker, or our marker that's right there at the location, we do have uh, a marker, which is a family heirloom inside this saloon area. There's two rooms on this side of the uh, saloon right here. There's a room here and there's a room here on the ground floor. And right here, the room that's on this corner, you guys will get, you go through the door that's right here. And then immediately to your right, there's another door. Go through that door and you will enter a room. And inside that room, on the chair, you guys will get a New Guinea Rosewood hairbrush, which is a family heirloom. Uh, there's also a tarot card right here. On the second level, of this uh, on the second floor you have to go up like a spiral staircase but on the second level of this area there's it's like just like one little room up there anyway but right here you will get a king of cups tarot card there's also a dig spot right here on the side of this building and that dig spot is a ebony hairpin right next to a barrel you should see the dig spot you can look uh, with your eagle eye, you see the little uh, glowy indicator stuff, so that should help you out. 
right here at our marker that's right here at the location you guys will get a random coin i cannot tell you guys what coin you will get but come over here near the tree that's standing in the ground it's like a dead tree it doesn't have too much going on it looks like like it's in the shape of a y if you look at it at a certain angle go around the base of that tree with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random coin there's two more things before we get out of roads and go up a little bit right over here at this house on i think the windowsill or a bench no it's a bench Right here at this location, you guys will get a Two of Wands tarot card. And over here, next to a bucket of water, you guys will get another tarot card, which is a Ten of Cups. I have one or two more things for you guys. Right here at our last marker that I've shown, or that I have, right here by, by Matic Pond, you guys will get a random arrowhead. You don't need your metal detector for this one. You just need your shovel. Come right here at this location, and that's what you will dig up. A random arrowhead. I can't tell you guys which one it is because it's randomized. Up here, if you guys want to come up here, there's two things. Which, right here, there's a spot. For, this is a spot. Right, make sure you pay attention to the lines. It's right here under this little line right here. You guys will get a random coin right here come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get and there's also a creek plum flower that's right next to it almost uh remember to look for a bush and not just a flower flower but it is a flower anywho let me get you guys back into frame so i can tell you guys the cycles again the cycles for today saturday may 22nd are family heirloom cycle one all laws jury cycle two coin cycle one arrowhead cycle one wildflower cycle two antique alcohol bottle cycle two all tarot card cycle one bird egg cycle two and fossil cycle two once again family heirloom cycle one all laws jury cycle two coin cycle one Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Tear Cards Cycle 1, Bird Egg Cycle 2, and Fossils Cycle 2. Remember to check the description box below just in case you guys cannot hear me, understand me, or I verbally mess up, or you just, just, matter, just check it just because so you guys know that everything is correct. <laughs> and... Everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and whatever else you do, because I do appreciate each and every bit of it. The guy's name that shares my video on um, Twitter when I post it, he shares my video and he shares um, Madame Nazar's location when I do post it. His name is Joshua Gamer 101, I think. If I can remember that correctly. Uh, make sure you go follow him because I think he posts content as well. But it's your baby man Hitman. And uh, I do want to say make sure you do you do like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out. Because I put out videos each and every day. It's your man, man, Hitman. Hitman, once again, I kind of stuttered that out. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs>